and welcome back to Bookish Theories! In today's video I would like to talk about Red Velvet Cycle and this is gonna be part 1 of a two part series about the song. In part 1 I'm gonna focus on a little breakdown and analysis of both the lyrics and the music video, while in part 2 I'm gonna talk about how the song is actually connected to Zim Zalabim and Oompa Oompa. Now, Psycho is a very interesting song because after years of seeing Red Velvet hunting down pizza delivery boys, bad boys and really bad boys, the girls finally admit that they're actually psychos, even if very cute ones at that. On a general level, the song describes a very obsessive and toxic relationship. At the beginning, the song opens with the girls wondering what they should do about this unstable situation. On the one hand, the relationship they are singing about is a source of uncontrollable feelings that makes them wish to escape the game they've been forced to play. But on the other, the love they feel is so strong that makes them act like psychers. People say that they are weird for acting the way they do, that even if they look cute together, this love is not gonna last. But they don't care, because despite all the troubles, they are having a lot of fun with that. In the song, the girls themselves admit that this relationship is a very strange one. It's both beautiful and sad. First they crush each other and then they hug. One moment they fight and the next they get along. But while at times they don't know what to do, the lyrics suggest that the side of them that wants to surrender to this love eventually takes over. The focus here is on the contrast between what they should do and what they want to do. On a rational level, they know that the love they feel has a negative influence on them, but at the same time they want to embrace it because being a psycho is actually a part of them. Even if this love is a source of trouble, it's also what allows them to free themselves and be who they really are, and because of that they feel that everything will be alright. On a thematic level, Psycho is the perfect finale of the Revel Festival. As we see in part 2, the concept of the trilogy is a celebration of the red and velvet sides of the girls finally coming together as one. So the song can be read as them falling victim of a twisted love story, but also as an inner conflict between different sides of themselves trying to prevail over the other. It's the red side versus the velvet side, and in Psycho the velvet side seems to be the winning one. Even if the lyrics imply otherwise, in the video the girls are much more in control than what it looks like, and the imagery used in the MV seems to confirm this as well. Throughout the video, for instance, both Irene and Joy are seen sitting in the driver's seat of a car, which is something that implies that they are in control of the direction they are taking. But most importantly, all of them are associated with weaving and sewing. At the beginning, Sulgi is sitting in front of a loom, which is a machine used for weaving. Halfway through the video instead, we see the girls using sewing machines, while later on there's Joey cutting a thread with a pair of scissors. This imagery may look pretty harmless, but in reality it holds a huge symbolic significance. Weaving and sewing are activities that are usually associated with femininity and traditional ideas of womanhood, but the thread is often used as a symbol of fate, so the fact that Red Velvet are weaving and sewing implies that they are literally weaving the thread of their own story. They are in charge of their own destiny and they decide the pattern of their narrative, even if sometimes it can be dangerous. The contrast between the apparent innocence of their activities and the real meaning behind them here is completely intentional, because it plays with the idea that Red Velvet have two different sides to themselves. At first glance they look cute and harmless, but this is an illusion because the real them are actually psychos. This is very coherent with the general narrative that we've been presented in their past videos as well. In the story, the girls seem to play the role of a coven of witches, so even if they are often portrayed as innocent, it's also true that they hide a more dangerous side that comes to the surface when you least expect it, and in Psycho this side of them is the one that takes over. If you look closely, while their outfits play a lot with the idea of good versus evil, the girls are often seen whispering to each other. This is a reference to a similar scene in Bad Boy, but the secrets they are trying to keep from us here is their true nature. Much like what we saw in Peekaboo for instance, in Psycho the girls play the role of the victim, but in reality they are the masterminds. 
In the video, we see the girls in a dressing room surrounded by mirrors. This is important because the location implies that they are getting ready for a performance. And sure enough, later on, we see Joy and Wendy in a train carriage and wearing the same outfits. Now, in contrast to the car, which symbolizes control, the carriage suggests a lack of control because they are not the ones driving the train. But this is fake, because what we see here is them playing a role they've been preparing for. As we see in the scene where Sugi is in front of the mirror, the two sides of them, that is, the red side and the velvet side, are two separated entities. One is the reflection of the other, but they don't act at the same time, because one side plays the role of the prey, while the other plays the role of the predator. Like the butterflies symbolize, the girls transform themselves according to the circumstance. But when we get to the bridge of the song, something interesting happens. In the lyrics, the girls say that they should not look back and just be who they are. And right after, we see Sulki's reflection starting to move in sync with the real one. While the butterflies multiply and fly over Irene and her reflection, Wendy whispers to Sulki as the lyrics say that people think they look cute together. This is a bit of a meta moment that implies that the love they are singing about is the one they feel for one another. Being together makes their witchy side come to the surface, even if it's usually kept hidden. But that's okay, because this is who they really are. So, that's it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!